Hey YouTube, it's Kayla here, back with another video. Um, so today is Friday, well actually not Saturday, and as you all know, well all you ladies know, a special movie came out on Thursday night, premiered Thursday at midnight, or came out Friday, June 29th. And that movie would be Magic Mike. And I've been wanting to see that movie ever since I first saw the first previews. And the only reason I wanted to see it was because of Channing Tatum and Alex Pettifer and and um, Matthew McConaughey. I didn't care about the plot and I still do not care about the plot. I mean... Hey, men can get their own movies about strippers, such as striptease, showgirls. Let us women have our own. With our male strippers. And so, I was originally going to see it on opening night, but that didn't happen because of work. So, I waited today, tonight, June 29th. Um at 10 o'clock to see it. Um, my reason for wanting to see the movie was the strippers. Didn't care about the plot or anything, but I had read this script beforehand, so I knew pretty much what it was about. But um, the people who I went with were my three main girlfriends, Nikki, Stephanie and Rosie. Um, it was interesting because that was our first movie scene that had a sexual theme where we can like express ourselves. And as us friends, we can be sometimes wild. We do have a lot of interesting talks, but I'm not going to go into that. But um, anyways. Um, and I went right after work, which is at 10. I got there right on time as the movie was starting. So, first thing I see when I walk into the movie is Channing Tatum's ass. Like, damn, hot damn. Give me a piece of that. But, um, my theater was packed. It was packed. The movie was sold out. And, I was, and like, it was so sold out that... Me and my friends, we had to sit in the very first row. That almost never happens, because usually we sit in the back row or the middle row, but no, we had to sit in the very first row up front, where we had to be like, where we got to see everything. But, um, uh, it was packed. It was rows and rows and rows of women, and all kinds of women, from Young women, such as myself, like 18, 19 year olds, I'm 19, but 18, 19, 20 year olds, young women, middle age women, around like 50, 30, 40, and there was even a few older ladies, like I would say around 70, 80 ish, and I was surprised. There was like really no guys. Like, there were some guys I knew there, but there were, like, gay guys. And then there was one guy, well, <sighs> with the exception of three guys, who were, like, being forced there because one was my friend's brother. I mean, well, not my friend's, who was I went with, but my friend, my other friend's brother, who I had seen, just happened to see there. He, he was there, and then there was this man sitting, like, two seats across from me. He was sitting next to his wife, girlfriend, I don't know. And he was knocked out sleeping. And, okay, I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. To me, the plot, it was okay. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world. It was okay, but I felt like it dragged on too much. And the lead blonde female, Cody something, uh, she was kind of a terrible actress. I don't know much about her. I don't know if this was her first film or whatever, but it was just terrible. It was like, um, Kristen Stewart. <laughs> horrible. Maybe even horrible than her. 
she it seemed like her, all her scenes were like improvised to me like every scene with Channing was like improvised I know that they said the beach scene was improvised but I don't know about the others but it seemed like it either that or her acting was just terrible I couldn't stand her uh, and then there was um, let's see Alex Pettifer played the kid um, I I think he was like great in a role like this um, I haven't seen him in too much movies I've seen him in the movie Beastly which was kind of a romantic take on Beauty and the Beast and I saw him in I Am Number Four but him in this role that that was like good it's like it was like a good role for him in my opinion because it showed that he can play he can take on adult roles and not just stick to like kind of teenage roles he can take on adult roles which is good um then there was of course Channing I think he has a great career going for him um I love so far I've all of his movies that I've seen, I've loved, with the exception of, gosh, I can't even remember what that movie was called. The one, I can't remember what the movie was called that I didn't like him in, but uh, anyways, I think he was really good in this role. Uh, he is just so damn fine and sexy. I could watch him dance all day. I mean, I wish he was my stripper. And I know, I remember previously in an interview, he said that he had been a stripper before, I believe. Um, I wish he was still a stripper and he could be my private stripper. Like, oh, um, He sure knows how to dance. Which was obvious because he was in Step Up, part one before. And so it's pretty obvious that he knows how to dance. But this movie showcased his dancing skills even more. And oh, that smile of his, that little smirk he has sometimes. Oh, and his ass, like, I oh, just want to, oh, you know? <laughs> um, and then there was Matthew McConaughey's character. To me, Matthew McConaughey's character was kind of like the badass kind of, I guess he was like meant to be a villain or some sort, I don't know, but not, well not villain, but he was meant to be like the bad guy, the enabler of sorts. Ugh. Matthew McConaughey, even though he is like 42, he is still good looking. And I did not expect him to dance at all. Like, I just expected him to be, like, the um, announcer and be like, Ladies, I see a lot of lawbreakers in here tonight type of deal. But, like, I didn't expect him to dance. So, that, the part, the scene where he danced, ugh, that was amazing. And then when he, like, bent over and showed his ass, I was like, Come to mama. But, um, that was great. And then there was, um, Elvis's granddaughter, um, Riley something. I cannot, for the life of me, pronounce the last name. But, um, she had a small role in this movie. And even with a small role, I think it was a good role because she did good, even though we didn't get to see too much of her. It was still a good thing. She she did a good job. Uh, let's see. But other than that, the good points of the movie were the stripping, the men, the stripping. <laughs> um, and honestly, I think that's about it. <laughs> the bad points were the plot. Well, it wasn't essentially the plot, it was the way the plot was executed. If it was executed in a better manner, then it would have made an even better movie. But the plot, to me, was executed in a poor manner, and it felt like it dragged on for hours. So, that was the downfall. But other than that, um, I'd give the movie... 
I'd give the movie, uh, let's see, around two and a half or three stars. It's, but it is definitely something for the girls to see or for the gay men to see, bisexual men, whatever. It is, it has fantastic stripping, not gonna lie. And I apologize that throughout this whole thing I'm here like flipping my hair. It's because it is hot up in this bathroom. This is where I film. But um, I'll see you probably on Sunday when I film my basics video. But um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.